Have I got an awesome project house for you. Check this out. 42 Greenwood Street, Rockland. Hatherley neighborhood. If you don't know it, it's a great spot. Super convenient. Come on, let's check it out. This house is a time capsule. Has not been on market since 1959. And man, is it vintage. It's really charming, honestly. It's got a great flow. It's surprising. But wow, does it need your love. The tall ceiling makes it feel a lot bigger. It's really only about a thousand square feet. But check this out. These little details, like these arches, man, they're nice. Look, they didn't really paint most of the woodwork. It's beautiful. That's a nice living room. Uh, it's about uh, 11 by 16. So there's a first floor primary bedroom, if you wish. That's how it was used. Yeah. Ooh. It's just like it looks. Truth in advertising, you'll see. That's my MO. All right, you're replacing all the windows, paint, plaster. You get it. Everything works, but mm, man, it needs love. So you have one bathroom on the first floor. Yeah. Okay. So this was a bedroom, but I'm calling it a den because, yeah. It's nice having the laundry there. I wouldn't want it in my bedroom, but going back to the den, this is the real reason, because check this out. That stairway goes to the two bedrooms upstairs. Let me show you. This would have been the attic, obviously. It's nicely done. So you have two bedrooms, almost the same size. This one's about 10 by 12. And you have eave storage on both sides, plus a closet. And the ceiling's pretty tall in here, so it really does not feel like an attic. You got to do something about these floors. They're just plywood. Storage. Lots of storage. Surprising. They tucked in a lot of storage here. The other bedroom, this one's 10 by about 12. So public record says four bedrooms, but really I'm calling this three because you have to walk through the den, but you could, you could call it four. No bathroom up here, okay? Yeah, this all has to be refinished, but this could be an easy flip. This is an easy project house. You're just, man, you're touching every surface. Speaking of every surface, okay, how do we get to the furnace? Well, hmm, that's my sound effect, sorry. Okay, crawl space, dirt floor, cinder block foundation. I can't even see the furnace and sorry, but I'm not going down there. It's forced hot air by oil. There is propane for the hot water tank and the stove. And I had to shut that off because we were getting a strong odor. So you're going to need to attend to that hot water tank because the water's been sitting. What about the electrical panel? Adam, show me the electrical panel. Okay. <laughs> I did not write these notes. <laughs> Danger. Okay. So you're updating all the systems here. But at three and a quarter, come on. You got a big driveway. Yeah, outside oil tank. Okay, not excited about that. It's a pretty level backyard. Yeah, put some gutters on. You can do it. A little bit of ledge I see here and there, but remember, municipal water, municipal sewer. Oh, that shed has got to go. Yikes. I like this spot. I think you will too. 
I hope you'll come visit at the open house. This is a really, really great project house. It just needs everything. We'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.